Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. To those guests who've just joined us, welcome. Our next stop is the Magic Kingdom. For those of you standing, please hold on to the handrails throughout our journey and stay clear of the door. Stay, 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 stay clear of the door. Ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching our station at the entrance to Main Street, USA. aboard the Monday Morning Monorail Podcast. He has a good one. This is not Justin Monorail. Uh, I have none of my Monorail family at the table, virtual or otherwise. I'm not Samantha Monorail. I'm not Garrett Monorail. I'm not Chicken Nugget. I'm not McKenna Monorail. I'm not John John Johnson. It's me, it's the Poochie of the Monorail family, coming to you from the Isolation Station of Love. It's me, Landon. Hi, everybody. Uh, hope you're doing well. So, uh, it's been a while since we've uh, joined you in the palatious virtual Monorail studios. Uh, kind of went on a hiatus, uh, but I didn't want to let the old girl get too much rust on her, so I'm sitting solo in the captain's seat today. Just uh, got a little bit of... Disney news to talk to y'all about, uh, but really kind of want to just, just say hey, because I, I, I miss talking to y'all, and uh, there's been a lot of questions, a lot of speculation, uh, so I'll just go ahead and address the Dumbo elephant in the room. Yes, I did get a life-size plush of Dumbo, but I'm talking about the other Dumbo elephant in the room. Just what's going on? And that's a fair question. We've built up an amazing fan base. Um a back catalog of some really good stuff, if I do say so myself. So when we suddenly stopped, um, there were some questions as to why, what's going on, is everybody okay? And those are fair questions. And uh, I don't know if I'm at liberty to say, but I feel like I owe it to y'all an explanation. And Jay, I apologize about this. You remember Pogs, the little game, like like, like uh, the circles and you had metal ones and slammers and stuff like that? Well, he's never talked about it, but Jay is a massive Pogs fan, so he is following his lifelong dream of becoming the world's best-rated Pog player, a Pog master, if you will. So that's why Jay has stepped away from the podcast. Uh, Samantha Monorail is too busy, quote, flexing on suckers, which, I mean, I get. She's cut now. She's she's practically a, a superhero. Garrett Monorail is the face of the rebooted uh, G4 network. Congratulations, Skelligummy. And uh, according to McKenna, it's none of your business, which I thought was... A little hostile. No, just joking. Uh, None of that is true, except what McKenna said. Anyway, like I said, wanted to get back into the podcasting swing of things with a little bit of Disney news. It's not going to be a full blown out show. Smash cut to me uh, an hour and a half later, still rambling on about literally nothing. But hey, that's what podcasts are for. This is generally a Walt Disney World podcast. We focus on the East Coast House of the Mouse. But at the top, want to say congratulations on the left coast. Uh, Disneyland is going to be reopening on April 30th. Good news for all you DL people out there, as well as the cast members who can finally get back to work. And uh, so everybody else can finally get back to work. Still continue washing your hands, maintain social distance, and if available, take a vaccine. Uh, Yours truly has round one of the J&J shot. Uh, A few weeks ago, we talked about how the Jungle Cruise is going to go through some updates, adding some new characters, mischievous wildlife, and some skipper humor to a classic attraction. Uh, Jungle Cruise is one of my favorite rides or attractions, whatever you want to call them, at Walt Disney World. And and some people, I know shockingly, are a little bit hesitant to things changing at Walt Disney World. But uh, Disney put on their Parks blog uh, a couple days ago, kind of giving us uh, what to expect. Quote, "Uh, the new scenes will heighten our skipper's legendary comic tone, uh, beginning with a trap safari party that finds itself up a tree after their journey goes awry. Um, The enhancements will include several new scenes guests will experience along the river, all interconnected, our world 
world-famous skippers will continue to share their unique adventure and interactions guests expect on the Jungle Cruise. And that's good to hear because, I mean, like, like the animatronics are cool. It makes me feel nostalgic. But the reason that I love the Jungle Cruise is because of the skipper interaction. I love the deadpan. I love the, the script, the spiel, whatever you want to call it that they go through. And, of course, the backside of water. Uh, by the way, if they take that away, then it's time to panic. Uh, still no word if they're adding uh, Rock the Dwayne Johnson, who's getting ready to star in the upcoming Jungle Cruise movie, or Emily Blunt. I doubt either that's going to happen. I, in fact, think they've even come out and said that isn't going to happen. So everybody calm down. And uh, also on the Disney Park blog, talking in this uh article they're introducing a new character alberta falls granddaughter of world-renowned dr albert falls uh, and she is the proprietor of the jungle navigation company uh, they also have a fun mock interview uh from the year 1938 where they get to know a little bit more about alberta falls uh why she wants to lead this excursion you know good stuff like that character building so you know I'm interested to see where this goes. I'm, I'm optimistic because, I mean, as long, as long as they leave the, I guess, skeleton of the classic Jungle Cruise attraction that I and you love and they, you know, just uh, flesh it out a little bit, I'm fine with that. Uh, speaking of maintaining the skeleton, uh, this week... I, uh, our very own Samantha Monrail posted this story in the Morning Monorail Facebook group. By the way, go join that fun community over there. Um, that they are now starting installation of the lights that will go on the good old Epcot ball, aka Spaceship Earth. That's Wednesday. I believe it was ClickOrlando.com uh, has an article and a couple pictures of Walt Disney World Imagineer Zach Ridley putting up one of the lights that's going to uh, be surrounding this uh, iconic attraction in Epcot. Uh, You know, this is all part of the 50th anniversary plans, which includes a new look for the iconic sphere. You know, one of the most iconic things in all Walt Disney World property. Um, Of course, we don't have a look of what it's going to, well, look like when it's done because A, it's not done. But uh, the concept art that they've put out, I mean, if they can pull it off with the new, I guess, uh, national championship trophy looking thing in front of the good old Epcot ball, I really think this is going to look awesome at night when everything's lit up. Um, I've seen some people speculate online that that, uh, this could lead to a nighttime attraction type situation on Spaceship Earth itself. I don't know if that will happen just because I could imagine, especially at nighttime when everybody's trying to exit Epcot, if everybody's crowded around the exits could kind of create some foot traffic issues, not to mention Spaceship Earth, in theory, hopefully will still be running because, you know, it was supposed to have some uh, updates. And then when the world caught fire, everything got pushed back. But uh, the Click Orlando article goes on to say, uh, this is still Ridley, quote, our team at Imagineering has been hard at work innovating the design and technology of this poetic and inspirational lighting concept. We've had to get quite ingenious in how to go about installing these new fixtures and all the high-tech systems so that the so that they seamlessly integrate with the iconic profile of Spaceship Earth. And when he says seamlessly integrate with the iconic profile, I think he hits it right on the head. I have faith in the Imagineers that because they realize this is such an iconic piece of Walt Disney World, and I mean Disney as a whole, they're not going to screw this up, I don't think. And like I said, the concept art we've seen of what it's going to finally look like, I think looks really cool. Uh, the permanent new lighting will debut on October 1st. I feel like there's a lot going on on October 1st down in Walt Disney World. Staying in Epcot, uh, this is more for me because this is one of my favorite places to eat in Epcot. And that's saying something because, you know, Epcot has some really killer food. As of yesterday, uh, the day you're listening to this, if you listen to it on the Monday it comes out. So March 21st, we are getting reports that the Rose and Crown dining room in the UK Pavilion Pavilion is now reopened. Uh, the restaurant did close the day after Valentine's Day, February 15th, for some refurbishments. So now everybody can go back and get that killer fish and chips, get a Smittix on draft. You can get a snake bite, I think. It's like, uh, like I said, not really all that life-changing. I just wanted to mention it because it is uh, one of my favorite places to eat in Epcot. Disney's website is showing that the dining room will be open for both lunch and dinner, and you can make reservations. So that's uh, that's good. And then uh, finally, I told you this is going to be a short episode. Um, It looks like Disney is looking to extend some of its park hours into early April. I 
Don't see any reports that this is going to be the park hours moving forward, but it's definitely a step in the right direction so you can get more bang for your buck when you're in Walt Disney World. Uh, starting April 4th, running through April the 10th, uh, Disney Hollywood Studio is increasing its operating hours, moving to a 9 a.m. opening, 8 p.m. closing, while the Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and Disney's Animal Kingdom are all increasing their operating hours by four. Uh, the Magic Kingdom is moving to an 8 a.m. open and a 9 p.m. closing. Uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom is moving its opening to 8 a.m. with an 8 p.m. closing. And then finally, most interesting, especially if you're uh, the type that likes to eat and drink around the world, Epcot is moving its close to 11 p.m. So you can get that late dinner and walk around uh, the World Showcase and look at those barges that Justin Monroe just loves so much. Man. Like, you should see some of the text messages I've received on that one. Like, like it's a good thing we keep this podcast PG because the messages that Jay sent me, not PG, not safe for work, y'all. He has opinions on this, is what I'm saying. That's the good thing about having a podcast. You can flex your opinions. Um, uh, I, I would love if they kept these operating hours permanently going forward. It's just one more step towards normalcy, uh, which I think a lot of us are missing because happy one year anniversary. We've been inside while the world's burning. Oh boy. But it's getting better. It's getting better. Um, uh, but yeah, that's all the news that I have that I want to pass along to you guys this week. Um, I'm hoping that I can keep this momentum going and by keep this momentum going, I mean, I won't destroy any goodwill that Jay has built up. It's truly one of my favorite parts of the week, sitting around the virtual table, talking to my extended family, and talking to you, the lovely listener. I've missed doing this, guys. I've missed y'all. And 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 much like the world, we'll get back to normal. Uh, but in the meantime, follow the Monorail family on their socials. That's at Morning Monorail. I think everywhere now that we uh, changed the brand. Uh, follow Garrett at Skelligummy everywhere. And of course, it's been a hot minute since I've done this. L-A-N-D-O-Z. Please go follow me, Landon Doan. I'm the best. Landon Doan, not the rest. That's where you can follow me. 280 characters at a time on Twitter. I also run a website, buttmunchchips.com. But much chips! Oh yeah, nobody's here to... Sit on your butt and munch. That's where you can find really outdated podcasts. Uh, some stuff I did in college radio. If you want to hear the, uh, I guess... The inspiration of where this, as I point to myself, audio podcast, pal, um, uh, kind of began. Go check out some of the older stuff I did at WMTS 88.3 in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Uh, But in lieu of that, I invite you to go to the iTunes store and search for Near Fall Radio. That is a updated podcast podcast on the sweet science of professional wrestling myself and will rev breaking down the world of professional wrestling uh wwe is now officially on the road to wrestlemania because they just had a pay-per-view that's inexplicably like less than a month away from their biggest show of the year so uh that's fun all elite wrestling had a pretty good show and then uh some uh pooty fireworks let's just say at the very end of a exploding barbed wire death match. So, uh, oh, and Shaq wrestled in AEW too. Yes, that's Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal. That's pretty fun. Um, But uh, yeah, myself and Will Rat talking on that probably this week. So uh, be sure to subscribe and leave us a five-star review. Remember, five stars or GTFO. And I also appear on The Phil Show, News Talk 98.7 WOKI, radio station locally here in Knoxville, Tennessee, streaming 6 to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time at Newstalk987.com. Also available on the News Talk 987 app in the iHeartRadio app as well. Uh, so uh, for the entire Monroe family, Justin, Sam, Garrett, McKenna, all their fun nicknames, the late great John John Johnson, um, it's good to talk to y'all again. Uh, we love you. We miss you. And, uh, Continue to stay safe, wash your hands, maintain social distance, and uh, be good to each other. Be excellent to each other. How about we close it on a Bill and Ted line? So, uh, my name is Landon Doan. We'll talk to you again on the Morning Monorail Podcast. See ya! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for riding with us today. You can find us on the socials at Morning Monorail. The website is morningmonorail.com and the email is mondaymorningmonorail at gmail.com. You can also call our voicemail 407-917-2144. Thank you so much for being part of the Monorail family. We'll see you next time.